All right, guys, welcome back to the fifth episode in my email marketing series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you exactly how to write a welcome email to people who sign up for your email list. I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks to make sure that your emails don't end up in the spam folder of your subscribers. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time, welcome to Future Affiliate Pro. On this channel, you guys are gonna get actionable content and a warm community so that you guys can build time, location, and financial freedom for yourselves. So consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. I'll also list all the tools and services that I'm covering down below in the description so you can check them out at any point in this video. So there are a couple things that you want to include in your welcome email. Number one, you definitely want to thank them for signing up to your email list. By thanking them for signing up, you make it clear that they're now signed up for your follow-up emails and for your email newsletter. This way, they're not surprised when they see additional emails from you in their inbox. Number two, tell them what they can expect from you. You wanna make sure that they know exactly what kind of emails they can expect and in what form you'll be providing value to them. Number three, let them know where they can unsubscribe from your emails. This is just a courtesy, but very important because you don't want people on your email list who aren't interested in the content that you're gonna be providing. It eliminates the people who won't be opening your emails or even worse, the people who label them as spam. If too many people do that, then email providers like Gmail or Yahoo will label your email address as spam and then all of your emails will end up in the spam folder and not even your subscribers who are actually interested in your content will be able to read your emails. So make sure to show them exactly how to unsubscribe correctly to keep your email list as clean as possible. Number four, tell them that they should add it to their contacts list and also to pull your email into their main inbox folder in the case that it ends up in the spam folder. This will help future emails get into their inbox. You can also tell them to follow you on your social media accounts where you're really active, but that's really optional because you don't wanna ask for too much in the first email. So it might be a good idea to share your social media in the second or third email. Last but not least, give them the lead magnet you promised them for signing up to your list. This is most likely the reason why they signed up for your email list in the first place and actually why they opened your email. So what I do is I place my ebook that I'm giving away onto a Google Drive. I then share that link to that book. What I also recommend you do is add a picture of yourself in the logo uh, or a brand at the bottom of each email because it builds trust and also because it's easier for people to remember you. So let's now go and set up our welcome email in our email marketing software. The software that we're going to be using today is GetResponse. If you don't already have your account with GetResponse, there's a link down below in the description that you can sign up for a 30-day free trial. So sign up now if you haven't already, and let's jump into my computer and get started. All right, so we are on our GetResponse dashboard here, and there's gonna be two different ways that you can automate your email uh, responders. Uh, you can do it from your menu tab here or you can do it from your quick action tab and there's two different you can do automation or you can do autoresponder. Now the automation is actually part of uh, enhanced package so you would have to pay like the 40 or 50 dollars a month to use the automation and where the automation is good is where you can actually depending on whether people open or click or whatever, you can actually send them a different series of emails based on their actions, right? So it's a little bit more of a in-depth email marketing system. And you absolutely don't need this when you get started. You only really need an autoresponder. I just have an autoresponder and it's worked really well for me. So if you click autoresponder, what you're going to do is we are going to create ourselves a welcome email for our ebook that we're going to give out. So if you come in here and you click this button right here, create autoresponder, we're going to click this button and we are going to create our autoresponder. So we'll click, click this as a, we'll say ebook. Email series. And then what we'll want it to do is, is uh, you'll as soon as the person signs up, 
So on day zero, as same time as a sign up time, any day of the week, we're going to want our autoresponder. As soon as somebody enters their email address in, they're going to get their ebook like we said that they would. So we're going to send our, we're going to set our from email address here. So in this, I, I don't have my uh, Gmail. You don't want your Gmail address in here. And the reason for that is, is a lot of times if you have a Gmail or a Hotmail, it goes or a Yahoo dot com it goes to spam you're going to want to have more of a branded email like my email say jamar jones at future affiliate pro dot com you can you can do this through uh google and i think it's like five dollars a month it's super affordable get yourself a branded email uh, so that your emails will end up in their inbox and not in their spam box so here's our from and our reply to you set that and then the subject line, how do you want to stand out in the recipient's inbox? So you can put, you could say, welcome, here's your ebook. And now we are going to design our message. So you can choose any one of their pre-designed templates. I actually don't use any of their pre uh, I don't use any of the pre-designed texts because if you just honestly it's just a short and sweet email you're welcoming people in you're gonna like I said earlier in, in this video there's a few things that you want to list inside of your email for the purposes of this video I'm not gonna make this I'm not gonna write everything out I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how uh, what it looks like for get response so we're gonna do a blank template and then we're going to choose blank template. Now all you have to do is drag and drop your text in. So once you drag your, your text in, it says use this block to add your message. And you can start just by saying, hey, and then you could say, uh, you'll add in some brackets if you want. So we could say, hey, you'll say, hey, first name, and then Thank you for signing up to my email list. Or we'll say a newsletter, newsletter. And then next, we'll just, a lot of times what I'll do is, uh, and with email copy, copy and email autoresponders, you're obviously, you're gonna wanna split test like you do landing pages or anything else like that. And you're gonna wanna change your uh, emails to see what types of subjects or what you have in whether you have pictures inside of your emails or certain things are bolded or italicized to see which ones get you more clicks right because it's all about sending emails to your uh, to your customers and getting clicks ultimately and you'll see once you start sending out a lot of emails what type of emails gets more people to click right so in here it's super simple all you have to do is we'll just say uh, click here click here to get your free ebook we'll say ebook and then you'll just have to uh, highlight and you'll add this little chain Right here so click here to get your free this is a web address and then just for you know, all intents and purposes we'll just put Google in here for now but what you would want to put in here is your uh, your share code or your share link to your PDF or to your Google Doc wherever you're keeping your ebook and you would place that URL in here okay and then next there are lots of simple things that you can do in here. Uh, so we'll just write it here. Sometimes people will, uh, and what I like to do is, is I like to bold and also help, what'll help with your link too is to bold it. And then we'll say talk soon. Right? Okay. And then also what you're going to want to place in your email, I highly recommend placing a photo 
and other additional links or trainings uh, in, in the bottom portion of your email. So uh, what I like to do is place a picture. So what we can do is place a picture real quick. If you come over here and then you go to image and then you'll just drag it, drop it, and then you'll go to browse, add files, and then you'll add your file from your computer. Uh, I've already uploaded a photo prior to starting filming this video. And you can see here, uh, the photos here, it's a little big and you can actually resize this photo as you need, right? So you can move it. So this photo here, so now you're, once these people get this email from you, they can put a, a, a face to the name, right? So any additional emails that you send to them, they'll kind of have a picture of your face. It's about being personable in your emails, right? You can also place a logo here at the top if you if you want to, if you have a logo for your brand or your business. And down here at the bottom is the auto-populated uh, unsubscribe button that get response places in there and that's pretty much it it literally is that simple you've got your uh, a thank you portion in here you've got your link for your book maybe some you know some additional text here and then a talk soon or you know look forward to seeing more emails from me or anything like that okay so once this is complete all you have to do now is what I recommend doing is sending yourself a test uh, test message and it will pull up any of your email addresses that you have in the system here so you just pull one of these up and send yourself a message what you're doing that for is to make sure that you, the links are working correctly before you actually send out the uh, before you actually finish the final setup of your autoresponder okay and then you can also do a spam check and basically it's on a on a zero to five scale and they'll tell you so they'll tell you how to set it so that your emails are maximized to go into the person's inbox and not their spam folder. So this one says we're good to go and then they'll tell you what they found. There's more image uh, body of image than text. The from address isn't a custom domain. Just like I was saying before, you want it from an at whatever your brand is dot com, not a at Gmail. And then the correct uh, signature is in here so the message is properly signed with a dkim by get response that's good all right so that would be this portion of the test and preview and then the last thing you're going to want to do is just save and exit i recommend saving a, it as a template and then save draft and exit if you uh, want to come back to it and if you haven't completed it yet so i like the way this looks and what you can also do is a good way to get your to make sure that your emails actually get delivered is you'll want to select plain text uh, HTML to plain and then uh, wrap long lines and this helps to prevent emails from going to spam uh, you can also click this button here view online and also you can uh, you can you can view on mobile device as well so that you can make sure that your uh, text looks like it's all lined up properly. All you have to do is click next and the autoresponder has been saved. And then you just hit save and publish. And that's pretty much it. Your ebook email series is set up. All, all the, if somebody enters their email address in and hits the button, this will automatically get triggered. They'll get added to your email list. And then this email will automatically get sent to them so that they get their email, uh, their email with the ebook link inside of there. So that is pretty much it. This is the actually the, the newer get response autoresponder setup. There is a, an older one. And let me, let me know in the description down below if you guys, uh, are still using the older one and you want to see a demo with the, uh, the older layout. This is the brand new layout that GetResponse has now. So we've now finished our welcome email and what we have to do now is set up our autoresponder so that this email will be sent out automatically once somebody opts in or signs up for our email list. 
in the next episode, we're going to set up this automation so that everything runs on autopilot. What I'm going to show you in the last video of my email marketing series is what makes email marketing really powerful. I'll be showing you exactly how you can set up a system that will literally sell for you and make you money while you sleep. If you got something useful out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you go down and give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more free training videos. And I look forward to seeing you all in the final episode of my email marketing series. Take care.